Hello, Marts here. So first, a um, very brief uh, thing about uh, the law on the force acting, the magnetic force acting on a wire. We had from previously that the force acting on a charge, say with the, far, the force on the charge Q, is Q V B sine theta, where theta is the angle between the mag magnetic field and the motion of the charge. Um, <coughs> now, suppose the charge consists of a lot of small charges. Basically, we, ha we have a wire and for some certain length L of the wire, we have a charge of Q on that. So if we have these whole set of charges moving, we'll get that the force equals to uh, Q, capital Q now, V B sine theta. So instead of having a single charge, we think about a bunch of charges moving along in a straight line, and the total force of that would be force times the total charge times the velocity of those charges, assuming they move with the same velocity, times sine of theta. Um, now we can split the velocity into the force equals to uh, charge times uh, the length divided by the time we take for ch the charges to go that length times b sine theta. Right? But wait a minute. This is charge over time, and we know, of course, that charge over time is the current. In other words, we can rewrite this formula as force equals to uh, the current times the length times b times sine of theta, which usually is written as b i l sine theta. So this will give us the force uh, acting on a wire uh, that is in a magnetic field. Uh, time, and we multiply the magnetic field strength times the current in the wire times the length of the wire in the field. Or if you just take it per length unit, that would be fine. Times <coughs> sine of the angle. So, for example, uh, say we have the wire uh, we have a B field of, say, a rather strong one, 0 0.1 Tesla. Say we have a current of uh, 1.0 amps, and the length of the wire in the magnetic field is 1.0 meters. And then we simply have force equals, and the angle equals to uh, 0 degrees. So there's uh, oh, sorry, 90 degrees, of course. Uh, zero degrees would be long, so 90 degrees. Uh, then we basically have that sine of 90 is 1, so this will end up being um, 0 0.1 times 1 times 1 is 0 0.1 newtons. <coughs> of course, we take force divided by L, would get the force per unit length. Uh, this way of doing it is, I think, way, way easier than they, they do in the book. Uh, I hope this helps a bit.